Oh, so let's talk about the check if matrix is x matrix. So basically, like you just draw the x on the matrix, and then to see if uh, the value is actually either either zero or not zero. So this is the x for this matrix, right? So everything the on the, uh, on the cross, I mean on the x, everything on the x should not be should not be equal to zero, and then everything else should be zero, right? So we can just use a for loop to traverse. Right to traverse a column, I mean row and column to check uh, the current spot. Right, so this is uh, for the for the for this diagonal should be easy, which is i equal to j. Right, uh, let me change another color i equal to j. Right, this column, I mean this diagonal should be easy, and this column is also easy as well. It's, it's going to be i plus j equal to m minus one. Right, so. Uh, when you just keep traversing, and then you will be able to know like uh, for this diagonal, it's gonna be this. So this is zero three. So zero plus three is actually equal to n minus one, right? So n represent four, and n represent four, right? This is the length of the grid, right? And this is the length of the grid at zero, right? So uh, this is x, this is y, right? So uh, again, so this is what uh, one two right. One plus two is actually equal to what three, and m is actually what uh, uh, four minus one is actually equal to three as well. So this is going to be pretty straightforward math, right? So let's just start coding, and then I don't I don't think that you have problem reading this. So this is length m equal to three and zero and length. In i equal to zero, i less than i plus plus. For in j equal to zero, j less than m j plus plus. Right? Then I can say if i equal to, so I'm going to check uh, the x, which is x, right? If i equal to j or i plus j is actually equal to m minus one, right? So if this is true, then we do this else, not x, right? So this is x. So if the value at this current cell, if that is equal to zero, then we let we return false. So if that is equal to zero, we return false. We cannot have a zero on the diagonal, right? So if you find one which is zero, you return false. And then this is what. Uh, it, this is the red box, right? So if the current cell is not equal to zero, it is not equal to zero, then we also return false, and everything else return true. So this is going to be pretty much the idea, right? So so, me. so let's talk about the time and space. This is going to this is going to be a space constant. This is going to be a time, all of n times all of m. So n m for the time. So this is the solution and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.